Okay, so here's two examples that I want you to see. Okay, let's look at this one. Sin x e to the x dx. And I go, okay, u du dv v. So I'm gonna say u equals sine x and dv is e to the x dx. So the derivative of sine x is cosine x and the antiderivative of e to the x dx is gonna be e to the x. And so I say that my integration by parts formula integral of u dv is equal to uv times integral of v du. And I go, well, there I got sine x e to the x. <clears throat> I'm sorry, that's minus. Minus the integral of e to the x. Oh, there should be a dx there. Cosine x dx. Okay, so then I go, um, then I go, well, let's, let's do this again. And I'm gonna do it the right way and then I'm gonna show you the wrong way, okay? So the right way is that I really need to write this sine x e to the x minus cosine x e to the x dx, okay? So now I'm gonna to need to do it again. I'm gonna box this. I'm gonna to need to do it again. So I'm gonna to have to say u2, so make those ones, du2, dv2, v2. My u2, I'm gonna make that for reasons that I really don't like those negatives hanging out front. They get lost. So I'm gonna bring it in so it doesn't get lost. So that's gonna be negative cosine x. This is gonna be e to the x dx. So this is going to be um, negative sine x. No, it's gonna be positive sine x dx. And that's gonna be e to the x. So then I do it again, so I've got minus cosine x e to the x and then I've got minus the integral of v which is e to the x times du which is going to be sine x dx I'm going to box that and you're like oh, that looks familiar that looks like where I started from back here. So I've just gone around in a circle. Well, how do I get away from that circle? How do I stop from going in that circle? Well, watch this. We're going to say that, let's rewrite this out. Integral of sine x e to the x dx is going to be equal to sine x e to the x which is that box right there, minus cosine x e to the x, minus, and I'm gonna rewrite it, rewrite the order of it, and you go, oh, I've just gone around in a circle, but not quite. Here you've got this equal, you've got blah equals that minus that minus blah. Well, this, what I can do is I can add this integral to both sides. Now we think of one apple plus two apples equals uh, three apples. Well, in this case, one integral of sine x e to the x dx plus another integral of sine x e to the x dx is equal to two times the integral of sine x e to the x dx. Two, one blah plus, two, plus another blah gives you two of those blahs.
Now I can just, if I want to, I say, well, I don't want to know what two times this integral is. I want to know what just one times this integral is. Well, I just divide both sides by two. And I'm going to take an e to the x out of both of those. OK. And there's my answer. Now, the question that I want to get back to is, what would have happened what if in this one, I had said u2 was e to the x, du2 was e to the x dx, dv2 was negative cosine x dx, and v2 was equal to uh, that would be sine x. Well, then what I would have, if I sort of, I'm just sort of going through this rather rapidly because you can hit pause and rewind and think what I'm talking about. If I had done that, then the integral of sine x e to the x dx, which is my original function, just copying it there, is equal to what I had in this box, minus, or then I got plus, uh, let's see, am I all set? Nope, that's gotta be a minus right there, plus this u, e to the x, times this v, negative sine x, minus the integral of v times du. And if I rewrite that out, I get integral of sine e to the x dx equals sine x e to the x minus sine x e to the x plus the integral of sine x e to the x dx and that cancels that and I am left with sine x e to the x dx is equal to the integral of sine x e to the x dx. Okay, which is obvious. I haven't gone anywhere. So these are circular and they look like you're not going around uh, the way you're supposed to. But basically, if you go around, if you use this method, you're going to go around and then you're going to come back to the answer. So problem you go around, you go around, you come back to the answer. Here, if you do it this way, you, you start at the problem. Here's the answer. You go this way, and then you reverse your path, and you come right back to the problem. Okay, I want to do just one more of these, and then I think I'm going to call it good, but I'm going to do it in the same video. So uh, this is going to be more advanced. You can shut off now or you can, if you still got patience, you can, you can look at it. Okay, so I'm going to do e to the 2x cosine 3x dx. So I've added some coefficients, so I've added some chain rule in there. So once again, we're going to have to go around twice I'm going to say u is e to the 2x, du is 2e to the 2x dx, my dv is cosine 3x dx, 
my V is going to be one third sine three X. And so I'm going to get um, one third e to the two X sine three X minus the integral of one third of one third sine three X times two e to the two X dx. So cleaning up I'm going to box that and then I'm going to take the negative inside and I'm going because I don't want to lose the negative I don't want to lose my constants and so I'm going to say negative two-thirds e to the 2x sine 3x dx. So I'm sort of setting it up exactly like this, but now I've got this negative two thirds in here and that's a sine instead of a cosine. So now my U2 my U2 is going to be that whole thing. Negative two thirds e to the 2x. And I can't emphasize enough, don't leave this hanging out in front of the integral, you're going to lose it. And then this is sine 3x dx. Well, the derivative is going to be negative 4 thirds e to the 2x. The antiderivative of that is going to be negative 1 third cosine 3x. You could also lose that negative in the fraction, so make sure it's up above the fraction line. And so then I'm going to have Negative times ne negative two thirds times negative one third is going to be two ninths e to the two x cosine three x minus the integral of minus one third cosine three x times minus four thirds e to the two x. Oh, I forgot my dx over there. Box that and now I rewrite. So <clears throat> I'm going to write my problem again. So I have the integral of e to the 2x cosine 3x dx is equal to this piece of it, one third e to the 2x sine 3x plus this piece of it, 2 ninths e to the 2x cosine 3x. And then I've got a negative and a negative and now I'm going to, and a negative, so I've got a negative, now I'm going to take it out front, negative 4 ninths integral of cosine x or e to the 2x cosine 3x. Now this is the same as this, but there's a 4 ninths, so it's one of these equals blah 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 minus four ninths of that. So going a little bit quickly for the video, you can do it on your own. I'm going to have nine ninths plus four ninths gives me thirteen ninths integral of e to the two x cosine three x dx is equal to all this stuff here. So going up, I'm going to say that the integral of e to the 2x cosine 3x dx is equal to 9 thirteenths times 1 third e to the 2x sine 3x uh, plus 2 ninths e to the 2x cosine 3x and then I'm just going to sort of clean that up 
uh, that's going to, well, I'm not going to bother to clean it up. I'm just going to put a plus C on it and you can clean it up if you want.